Hello and welcome to Indusan News. This is Ratnakar with English Bulletin. The news in detail. A three-year-old boy, Muhammad Adnan Sheikh, who was kidnapped from Babarat Tajbaj in Nagpur on Sunday, was rescued by Indur police following action by Shakkadara cops. Swinging into action immediately after receiving information, Nagpur cops also got the kidnapper trapped by their Indur counterparts. Adnan, who stayed with mother Fatima Sheikh on the footpath near Babarat Tajbaj, has been abducted by Firoz alias Bombaya. It has learned Firoz would too stay on the footpath and already promising to buy a kite. Fatima thought Firoz would bring Adnan back in some time when he did not return. After a long time, Fatima approached Sukhadara police with complaint. The police team under Inspector Satyavan Mane took efforts for their success of the operation. The accused and the child are being brought back to the city. NMC Commissioner Adakshan B has imposed a fine of rupees 5 lakh on the Roo Pathology Lab based in Ramdas Pet for violating ICMR guidelines and a testing process in the lab has been postponed till further notice. The action under the Epidemic Diseases Act 1897. NMC has also warned Suvishwas Lab in Ramdas Pet and a Metro Lab in the Tulipur inconsistency in following of guidelines. It was noticed that there were several discrepancies in many processes like online registration of patients' data. A team of officials led by additional commissioner Sanjay Nipane inspected a few labs which has been granted permission for carrying out COVID testing. Instances of violation of ICMR guidelines came to light in Dhruv Pathology and to a lesser extent in Suvishwas Lab and Metro Lab. While a fine of Rupees 5 lakh was imposed on Dhruv Pathology, a warning was issued to the other two laboratories. As per instructions of Ministry of Railway Swachya He Seva, fortnight has been organized by the Nagpur Divisional of Central Railway from 16th September 2020 to 30th September 2020. Under the leadership of Divisional Railway Manager Sri Somesh Kumar. In the premises of Divisional Railway Manager's office today on the occasion of Swachh Jagrupta Divas, all railway officers and railway employees of the board were administered the Pledge of Cleanliness. The India, which Mahatma Gandhi dreamed of, it should not only be having political freedom and sovereignty, but also the idea of a clean and developed country too must be implemented. Now, it is our duty is to remove dirt, maintain cleanliness and serve Mother India. Kumar said that by committing 100 hours every year, that is 2 hours every week, we will resolve to achieve this cleanliness. Anup Kumar, Satpati, Manoj Tiwari and other senior officers of Central Railway were prominently present. Resorting firm steps regarding availing the services of private hospitals to deal with COVID-19 pandemic, Mayor Sandeep Joshi directed officials to issue notices to all 637 private hospitals to start treating coronavirus patients or face action. At present, Nagpur has 637 private hospitals whose services can be availed by serving five beds each in all these hospitals for COVID treatment. The hospitals which are unable to provide the services should deploy their manpower at Nagpur Municipal Corporation run hospitals and NCS 200 bed. They are not able to render health care services due to lack of manpower. Mayor said, number of patients is critical condition, too is increasing. The patient and the relatives are facing problems of availability of beds. Joshi warned private hospitals so not to ignore the notice by NMC, else they would be facing strict action like cancellation of license. He also talked about the government's initiative of constituting a pre-audit committee to monitor the complaints regarding the private hospitals charging exorbitant amount from the patients. Taking serious cognizance of these complaints, the government has constituted a pre-audit committee and a letter with that regard has been sent by State Chief Secretary to NMC. The civic body too has constituted a committee to inspect the bills. As the number of patients with corona infection increasing in the city, the administration has advised patients with mild symptoms to stay home, for which the Nagpur branch of Indian Medical Association has issued some guidelines for home isolation patients. In the list of guidelines, home quarantine guidance element, a safety rules, daily reports, diet, healthy food, diet, etc. are given. First of all, the person can live in a home isolation who has a mild symptom. The house should have independent rooms and toilets. There should be a 24-hour person to take care of the patient. Apart from this, the home isolation patient will have to give health information to the health officer every day. Home isolation patients have to drink hot 
water every day while taking care of himself. Always keep a handkerchief with him. Always apply a mask. Wash your hand four to fifty times a day with soap. If there is a pregnant woman in the house, children, or elder person, it is necessary to maintain a fit of six feet distance. Soak your used clothes in hot water for thirty minutes and wash them. Every day report has to be prepared in the seventeen days from isolation period in which to check the blood temperature, pulse rate, and oxygen level. Fruits, milk in a nutrition diet, eggs, lentils. Sprouted grain have to be consumed, as well as to avoid soft drinks and outside food. If you have a home isolation patient near you, so keep physical distance from them. Sanitize the premises around you. Things which are used by the patient and put them in the dustbin so that those items do not come in contact with anyone and there is no risk of infection from them. As per the rules of administration. No test is required when your isolation period ends. Also, the administration has given some guidance to pursue the neighbors of home isolation patients. The administration has enacted a corona patient discharge policy. If the patient has no fever for three consecutive days without any symptoms, then he will be given a discharge in ten days. It is not mandatory to do any test at the time of discharge. The Department of Health may advise the discharge patient to have a home isolation for seven days. Important helpline numbers of some COVID-19 are given in this guide and information list. You can check the status of available of bed by contacting them. Death anniversary of Major Surendra Dev, a hero of Indo-Pak War of 1965, and Atul Chandra Kumar, a noted freedom fighter and a close confidant of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, was observed at the Dalit Park today. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, the event was organized with a minimum attendance of some military personnel from Uttar Maharashtra and Gujarat sub-area, late Major Dev's family members, and a social worker and journalist saw Major Thakur in attendance. Major Dev belonged to the 86th Light Artillery Regiment and was martyred during one of Indian Army's operations in which he exhibited exemplary gallantry and inspiring leadership in the highest, highest tradition of his regiment. His family member and social worker saw Major Thakur paid floral tribute to the Major. Social worker Thakur too threw light on the important role played by Atul Chandra Kumar during the freedom struggle on the occasion. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in our around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take good care of yourself and your family.